how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right. <clears throat> All right. Okay. <laughs> so, um, at the end of the last one, I said that this one was going to be kind of a writing for myself um, as the topic title that I'd picked, uh, but I kind of realised that a lot of what I'd sort of wanted to cover with it I'd already done in the last two um so I still haven't actually come up with anything better to talk about <laughs> so I'm gonna sort of focus the topic a little bit differently I guess um but still sort of keeping it within the idea of writing for myself um but yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see how this goes <laughs> Um, so when I'm talking about writing for myself, what I essentially mean is that I consider myself to be the first reader of anything that I write, um, partly because, you know, I'm the one that will go back and edit it, um, partly because, you know, I'm, I'm telling myself this story, um, at the same time that I'm writing it, so it's important, um, for me to enjoy what I'm writing. Um, so the Neverwritten series of stories, as it's ended up being, um, I really enjoy writing them. I really enjoy working with those characters. I really enjoy seeing where their story is going. Um, definitely now that um, I'm doing the, the further on in the timeline, um, I'm working on the further on in the timeline stories, um, because I don't necessarily know exactly where it's going um, with, I mean, obviously, a pain of where I wrote years ago, um, but when I was writing The Colours I See, um, I kind of knew certain beats in the story because it was a companion piece to Hyena Boy, so, it, you know, it, there were certain things that I, I knew were going to happen and there were certain places that I knew the story had to go. Um, but the further on in the timeline books, they, they still surprise me. Um, and they can still surprise me and a lot of stuff has happened that I was like I really didn't expect that to happen but that's interesting I like exploring this idea I like where this is going um now definitely I think going to be the more fantasy rather than magical realism side of things uh for, for those two particular the, the sort of later on in the series whereas you know a lot of the stuff in well, all of the, the fantastical stuff in Hyena Boy, you could sort of say was definitely magical realism because you don't really get any of the fantasy stuff, not in the same way that you do in The Colours I See. And The Colours I See is definitely more of a fantasy book. Um, and then the, the one I'm still working on, so the third one, again, it's much more of a fantasy book, much more of those fantasy elements sort of come in, but you could still, like The Outsiders, <coughs> sorry, I like the outside of the situation you can still sort of look in on what's going on and there's still a groundedness there there are still other explanations there that you could sort of go with if you don't know the fantasy stuff going on um and then like the the fourth one that i'm hoping to to start work on once i finish the third one which i don't know quite when i'm going to finish the third one although i get the feeling i'm heading towards the end of that one now um again there are going to be more fantasy elements in it than I thought there were going to be, uh, just based on a few things that have happened whilst writing the, um, the one that I'm currently writing. And yeah, the, trying to get it back on topic <laughs> again. I'm sorry, I apologise. I love the Never Aethan story so much that I kind of go on tangents with them. But it, it's kind of my what I'm trying to say is these stories, I've, I've written them for me first. I'm the first reader of these stories. I am the first person who gets to see what's happening in these stories. I love these stories. So I'm, you know, passionate about them. Um, I know these characters. I love these characters. I want, you know, other people to meet and, and love these characters as much as I do. And I think that's something that's really important. Um, certainly, you know, whether you're a, a newbie writer just starting out, or whether you're a more experienced writer, I think it's so important to love the characters that you're 
you're working with and that you're writing about and to love the stories that you're creating because if you don't enjoy them how are you going to expect anybody else to enjoy them um and that's very much I think why I had to abandon the the other story that I was writing in favor of of working on the colors I see because it wasn't so much I wasn't enjoying it I just wasn't invested um so without that investment without that passion it was just kind of stagnating and it wasn't really going anywhere and I was starting to feel a little bit maybe frustrated um, with the progress of it but as soon as I started writing because I see you know <laughs> within like three or four months I you know completed a 48 chapter long god only knows how many words book <laughs> um <clears throat> which I didn't expect um within about four or five months so it just goes to show you know if you're really invested in what you're writing and you know you're really passionate about what you're writing you'll you accomplish so much more so you know writing for the sake of writing yeah you, you can do that and you know I'm not saying you know if that's how you're earning your living right now that you know you should stop bad no um, because if it works for you, then okay, but if you're passionate about something, it, it's not work anymore. It's just this, this thing you do that you enjoy, that you want to share with people and you want to share with the world. And yeah, <laughs> I want, I want people to read my work and I know it's not happening at the moment and I, you know, try my best to remedy that situation. Um, and on that note... I am building a website at the moment. There is a link for it in the description below. Um, I'm assuming you guys are watching this on the computer. I don't know where the links are really on phones. I think they vary depending on what kind of phone you have and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there is a link in the description, wherever the description happens to be for you, uh, for the website that I'm currently building with Wix. Um, I want it to sort of be this kind of hub um portfolio type thing uh for my writing to sort of link to to where my writing is um <clears throat> to try to drum up a little bit more interest in my work and and in my writing and stuff so um it's very basically done at the moment i have ideas for it that i am working on and one of those ideas is a never eaten section so um a, a section sort of dedicated to the Never Aten stories and the Never Aten characters and um, the four books. <laughs> I think <laughs> it may end up being more than four books because I've got I've got some ideas for, for certain other things, but at, at the moment it's just four books because um, it you know four, four books in the collection and and the four main boys and and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, keep an eye on that I will probably update you guys as and when that sort of progresses a bit more um but yeah I, that's, that's what I want to do I want to show off my work I want to drum up interest in my work I want people to get excited about about my work and I think one of the ways of, of being able to do that is showing people how excited I am about my work um and and I'm not necessarily the best at talking about things I mean I'm not so bad now with this whole blog stuff um I've kind of gotten kind of gotten used to sort of showing off my excitement when I'm sort of talking to myself um but I always worry a little bit when I'm talking about uh, my writing and stuff to to people who are actually in the room with me that I might be boring them or you know they might not follow what I'm going you know what I'm saying and what I'm trying to talk about and Especially because, as you guys well know from listening to me through these vlogs, I can't always get my words out and I can't always speak in necessarily the most clear and concise way and I can get a bit lost with my thoughts and I can tangent a little bit. Um, so to create something that is going to get my passion across in a way that people can understand and in a way that's clear and something that they can go back to and, and check out and get more excited about and... You know where I'm gonna like be able to hide like little clues and little spoilers and you know help with like because as, as I've said before I like the idea of people like building theories and stuff from my writing so yeah little little things like that little little tidbits like that and yeah I 
it's going to take some work. It's not all going to be done in one go. It's going to be made as and when I can. Um, certainly at the moment, because I'm still in the process of decorating the flat. Um, you know, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Things things are moving forward quite nicely. But, you know, with all that sort of stuff going on, it's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to then have to also start work on a website. As I have so little time, I'm struggling to find time for my editing and I've got a book to release this year. <laughs> so, you know, but maybe release closer to Christmas than, than the summer at the rate things are going at the moment. But... I might be able to turn it around. It, it depends on how much decorating I get done because I've got a going to be back for that coming up soon. Um, but yeah, I think I think what I'm sort of trying to say, um, what I'm trying to get across, is that I love my my writing. I love my stories. I love the characters that I create and. I love writing those things and telling myself this story and finding stuff out about this story and yeah it, it excites me it you know makes me passionate it makes me feel a lot of things and to me that's that's a really important factor in being a writer in you know to love the things that I write is important to me personally and if I, you know, were to advise uh, anyone just starting out, I would say, you know, remember you are your own first reader. If you're not enjoying it, then how are you going to expect anybody else to? Don't write for the sake of writing. Don't write because that's the kind of thing that you're expected to write. Write what you love. Um, and it's the same idea as, you know, write what you're afraid of. Write about things that, you know, make you scared. Um, it, at the same time, write about things that you love, write about things that you enjoy, write about things that you're passionate about, because passion is contagious. Um, and I'm just hoping at some point other people are going to realise just how passionate I am. And, you know, fingers crossed, book sales, lots and lots of book sales. <laughs> but in the meantime, it's, you know, taking all those little steps to try and to try and get there and yeah I know this was again a very unfocused sort of vlog but I think mm, I think I got something across um, so keep keep tabs on the website link below um, for how that site is progressing and updating and stuff like that hopefully it'll be quite exciting and quite good once it's all done and sorted and whatnot um, but it's just very basic at the moment, and I do apologise for that. Uh, it, it, <laughs> I'm not the fastest website builder. Um, even using a website builder that helps you build a website, it doesn't really like my laptop that much, which is you know, not, not the greatest thing. Um, and then I started it off as one type of website, and then realised that that type of website was the wrong type of website. Um, and then I sort of had to like do behind the scenes stuff in order to fiddle it into the type of website which was going to work better for me. And um, yeah. <laughs> Basically, basically, yeah. Um, anyway, I guess that's all I can really sort of talk about on this one. So it's sort of been a bit writing for myself and a bit, hey, I've got a new website, go check it out. Um, so the next vlog will be, that's entitled Decorating. Um, I'm going to be filming it before I'm actually starting the decorating, uh, but it will be posted at the end of the week that I've got off for decorating. So, <laughs> yeah, next one is about decorating. Alright, um, I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting, even though it's a bit like rambly and bubbly and never read new focus again. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. And um, I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.